This is a video editorial of um, Six Years Later, Hieronymus Gate. Uh, six years ago tonight, matter of fact, I mean, it's been exactly six years ago tonight, um, Jeff Rents had a program, a very controversial program, in which um, he brought on author Greg Long, who wrote the book The Making of Bigfoot, The Inside Story. He also brought on paranormal investigator Cal Korf. He brought on television producer Bob Kiviat, um, who produced a special many years ago called World's Greatest Hoaxes, Secrets Finally Revealed. Also produced one uh, on the alien autopsy, which of course that turned out to be a hoax. Um, and they also they brought on a young uh, Czech journalist by the name of Michaela Kochish um, to talk about a controversial uh, issue. The fact that they had found, or supposedly found, evidence that the Patterson Gimlin film was actually a hoax. And they claimed that they had found the man who allegedly wore the suit in the Patterson Gimlin film. That man's name was Bob Hieronymus. And uh, he's a resident of Zilla, Washington. And um, he, he actually made this claim uh, as early as 1999, but he was unnamed in that particular article. But uh, his attorney spoke for him, Barry Woodard, and um, it turned out that um, Hieronymus came on the show on Jeff Rents, revealed for the first time ever that he was allegedly the man in the suit in the Patterson Gimlin film, uh, revealed that he allegedly um, put on this suit that was um, behind Roger Patterson's house. Oh, hush. My cat. <laughs> he allegedly put on this suit and practiced the walk behind Roger Patterson's house, or allegedly, he says he did. Um, and then apparently went down to Bluff Creek with Patterson and Gimlin. He's basically calling Bob Gimlin a liar. He's basically calling Roger Patterson a liar. And uh, he said that uh, he walked in front of the camera in the, in, in, in the film gave the old Bigfoot look as he as he called it now how would he have known what the Bigfoot look was nobody knew what the Bigfoot look was in 1967 who would have known that but anyway I mean he claimed that he was the guy in the suit and, you know it's been six years since that happened and uh, there's been really there hasn't been a whole lot there, there's been a lot of smoke but really no fire uh, as far as that issue is concerned, um, we have not seen very much of Hieronymus since 2008 when they did a, a TV Land uh, Myths and Legends special, a segment on Hieronymus and his claims. We, we really haven't heard much out of Bob Hieronymus. Um, Greg Long, on the other hand, he went on a recent uh, podcast called Monster Talk, which takes a more skeptical look at uh quote unquote monsters or as I call them crypto cryptozoology cryptids I, I don't like to call them monsters unless they are actually monstrous if, if a so called monster is actually monstrous I will call them a monster but um, I would call them I prefer to call them cryptids or unknown creatures not monsters but that's splitting hairs <laughs> and it's getting off the topic and I apologize but anyway, um, we really have, we heard from Greg Long recently on um, this uh, podcast, Monster Talk, and um, he still believes that Bob Hieronymus was the guy in the suit. He still believes that um, that since we don't have a Bigfoot body, you know, that his argument is we may not have the suit for the Patterson Gimlin film, supposedly. Well, then again, we don't have the Bigfoot. We don't have a Sasquatch body on the table. So the question of Sasquatch remains open as far as Greg Long is concerned. But um, in his mind, uh, uh, the Patterson-Gimlin film is a hoax. And that's, that's all there is to it, according to him. But we really haven't heard much from Bob Hieronymus in over a year. And maybe that's a good thing. Um, because personally I, I don't believe him 
I don't believe his claims. I disagree with his claims. I I, I, say, I just plain don't believe him. Now that may make me wrong. I don't know, but um, I just plain don't believe him. I believe Bob Gimlin more than I believe Bob Hieronymus, because look how many look how many times uh, Hieronymus's story has changed, whereas Gimlin's has never changed. It's been consistent over 43 years nearly. <clears throat> and don't even get me started on the massacre nonsense and how Hieronymus might tie into that. Maybe the reason Hieronymus has kept quiet is because of the massacre claims that have come out. I mean, perhaps he reasons, well, if I say anything now about having allegedly been in the suit then the massacre claims might dovetail into uh, into what I'm saying, and then you know how could I have been there at Bluff Creek if there was a if there was shooting going on? You know how could I, what what happened? Was I shot in the leg or something? <laughs> you know, but it would dovetail into that, and maybe that's why Hieronymus has stayed quiet. But I don't know. But anyway, it was six years ago tonight that that whole controversy started, and the controversy, it still goes on, but it's really not as prominent as it was, and um, I think it pretty much faded away. I, I really don't think we're going to hear a whole lot more from Hieronymus, or from Greg Long, or from Cal Korf. Um, there was a proposed uh, television special that was supposed to air, it never did. Uh, there was a proposed DVD that was going to be released. It never was. Supposedly, there's footage of Hieronymus walking in the suit. Which, it looks as if that's those plans have been scrapped. We, we, we have yet to see that footage surface. And, personally, I don't think we are going to see that footage surface. Because it probably didn't look anything like the Patterson-Gimlin film. Matter of fact, I would say it didn't look like anything like the Patterson-Gimlin film because actually we may not have that actual footage but we do have stills that were put together in a series there was a, a series of stills and I think they were from that Argosy, not Argosy, um, 40 in Times magazine article I think MK Davis put that together put that, put that, um, put that series of stills together to where it appears that Hieronymus is walking and it looks nothing like the Patterson Gimlin film. No, it, there, there's no, there's no smooth muscle movement there. Nothing smooth going on there. It just looks like a fat guy in a gorilla suit. So what we have is we have the word of Bob Gimlin, who has a film to back him up for 43 years. We have Bob Hieronymus, who uh, whose story changes with the wind. And uh, we we don't have any uh, corroborating evidence on his side, other than you know it's claimed that he's got buddies who back him up. But uh, from what I understand, actually, there's a lot more people backing up Gimlin in, in the Yakima area than there are backing up Hieronymus. Um, there's a recent article on the BFRO website, written by Matt Moneymaker, which kind of contrasts Hieronymus and Gimlin. Uh, eventually, I'm probably going to read that off, and I'm going to put that online. I'm going to do a video of that eventually. But I really wouldn't worry too much about the Hieronymus claims. I, I don't think they went anywhere, and I don't think they're going anywhere. So, um, Bob Hieronymus, zero. Bob Gimlin, one. <laughs> anyway, that's my editorial.